Meanwhile, it's been almost two years since the Riverside fire burned through communities in eastern Clackamas County, and many of those communities are still just starting to rebuild. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy is in Dodge tonight to tell us about the groundbreaking of an historic church in the town that was lost in the fire. It's been a real struggle for everybody. I mean, emotionally, monetarily, everything. But, you know, losing the church, it was just a shock. Two years ago, we met Kathy Bowden, days after one of her homes on her property in Dodge burned down in the Riverside fire. This summer, the foundation was poured to rebuild what was lost. It's been hard thinking what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. And mm. We're basically using the same footprint of the house that was there. When I met with her Monday, rebuilding her community means rebuilding the church that's at the heart of Dodge. People will be able to have, you know, maybe events here, or whatever, that, you know, things that they had before that there were people who had weddings here and mm -hmm. there were funerals here and, you know, things like that. And it's just a place to for people to come to. Just like Kathy's home, the new church will be nearly on the same spot the old church stood when it was built back in 1947. The groundbreaking was Sunday and the community of Dodge returned to the spot where so many community memories are made. We're quite excited uh, to see what the Lord has in mind for us here. And Tony Scorian is one of the deacons for the Dodge Community Church. He says insurance will pay about $266,000 on top of over $150,000 of donations. Donations his church is getting from across the Pacific Northwest. That was really encouraging uh, to see that, you know, that's when the, when the church uh, really uh, shines and comes onto its own. Scoyan says they still need to raise about $300,000 to complete the interior of the building. And there's hope doors will open for Christmas service. Even though we lost our building, but the building is not the church. The people are the church. The building is just where we meet. It's all in God's hands. That's, you know, it's God's timing. And he's the one that's making it happen. OP and Nora, just like the church here in Dodge, other community members in this town are still just starting the rebuilding process. Many say that it's because of supply, supply chain issues that's holding up building materials. But Kathy and her neighbors say that they'll rebuild this town as long as it takes. Live in Dodge, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon.